Hello everyone. So again, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is uh, General Jakor, and in this video we will discuss about the time allowance for good conduct and loyalty and rights of prisoners for outside uh, communication. So I hope that this uh, video will help you know to understand about uh, this topic and this is uh this video is also a continuation of our previous topic and uh, the institutional institutional correction subject so to start with so who may grant a uh, good conduct time allowance no okay some may mo grant no and the good uh what we call the gcta of course, the director, the director may grant the GCTA or good conduct time allowance to an inmate who displays behavior and who has no record of breach of uh, discipline or violation of prison rules and regulations. So, ang katong i-grant sa uh, director or those prisoners nga wala sila yung mga records, no? wala sila yung mga uh, record nga naka violate sa rules and regulations sa prison institution. So of course katong na mga violation, katong mga escape prisoners. So dili to sila pwede grant aning GCTE. So those are persons uh, prisoners ra nga uh, kanang nagbinuutan sa ilahang pag-serve silang sentence. And effects of GCTE yung sa may effects sa GCTE. So the good conduct or behavior of an inmate shall entitle him to the following deductions of prisons from the period of his sentence. So, many effect, uh, effects sa GCTA, no? Uh, una is, yan yung itawag, uh, um, we have the GCTA of the detainee for the eye. So, the detainee shall only be granted GCTA if he voluntar voluntarily offers into writing uh, to perform such labor works as may be assigned to him. In such cases, the credit he may receive is convicted. So, muna ang itawag kong GCTA sa detainee. And next one is a uh, GCTA of life termer. So, an inmate sentence to the life imprisonment shall not be granted GCTA in an appeal. So, katong mga life, uh, life termer nga mga prisoners nga ang sentensya are those uh, reclusion, reclusion perpetua or or the life imprisonment no dili na sila pwede uh, mag grant sa GCTA and the next one is the revocation of GCTA so that the, ang, ang good conduct time allowance once granted shall not be revoked oh we just cause so dili na siya pwede ma-revoke ma once na mag granted na, na siya sa director then restoration of GCTA. So the GCTA which an inmate is deprived of because of misconduct may be restored at the discretion of the director. So upon the recommendation of the superintendent. Uh, and then we have here the inmate communication. So right to communicate. No? An inmate shall have the right to communicate or correspond with persons and organizations and to send and receive letters, packages, books, periodicals, and other materials that can be lawfully sent to email. So, naagya po sila ay uh, katungod, no? Na makig-communicate sa ilang mga family, friends, relatives, no? di uh, mga personals, pwede na sila mo send o mga uh, mail or pwede sila makareceive o mga letters, no? Gikan sa ilang mga uh, family. And then we have the censorship of mail matters. So all letters sent or received by an inmate as well as magazines, books, periodicals, and all reading materials shall be subjected to censorship no? to prevent the entry of contraband and the entry of, or exit of information that may adversely affect the security of the prison. So tanan nga mga letters nga mara uh, is sent or uh, received sa inmates is censor na siya uh, meaning to say uh, 
evaluate or tanawon na kung unsa gina nga item kay tendency magod kung dili na siya i tanawon sa qualified officers pasibola na ana ipaagi ang mga contrabands no na example sa mga shabu o ipa sokepra so that's why ang kanang mga mail matters no is sensor na siya sa uh, officer in charge or the qualified personnel nga mo tanaw ana ang mga letters so that's the censorship of mail matters next one we have the guidelines of censorship of mail matters so na apoy guidelines no sa on pag sensor sa on pag tanaw sa maong uh, mail matters so una we have an inmate shall be secured until such time that censor are ready to examine them so ang ikaduha so inmate mail shall be open and searched by the qualified train and authorized personnel mo na tanawon ug unsa isulod sa maong uh, mail matters next one is, greetings card shall be carefully examined and filter of any kind found therein shall be collected for laboratory examination no then next we have the photograph shall be marked on the reverse side and replaced in the envelope no so mo na ang mga guidelines next is in censorship mail Prisons lang and usual nicknames and sentences and double meaning shall be carefully studied and deciphered. Uh, next is letters passed by censor shall be bear the censor stamp at the top of each page and the envelope and the letters shall be replaced in the same envelope and resealed. So, mo ni ang mga guidelines no, nga dapat sundon, sundon sa qualified officers during the censorship of mail matters. No? The packet does contents of an inmate's mail shall be confidential and shall be discussed with the represent personnel. So, ang kanang content sa noong mail, uh, dili na pwede istorya into other prison, dapat na siya confidential. Ang mahibalo na is only the inmate and those who are uh, so censor the mail matter. Then, what may be censored? So, unsa may dapat is censored no? sa mail. No. All letters containing statement concerning the security or reputation of the prison, like escapes attempts, smuggling, trafficking, or contraband, or statements may affect prison rules and policies, shall be censored out any item or correspondence or enclosure that does not conform the regulation or detrimental to the security good order and discipline of prison shall be confiscated and submitted to the penal superintendent post this board this position so mo na ang mga dapat is censored no sa mga mail matters then next one we have the collection and delivery of mail matters so na apagyod ang collection and delivery so the mail officer shall collect and deliver mail matters on a daily basis no kada adlaw na ay mail officer na i collect na siya from monday to friday an inmate shall be advised to claim his mail if he fails to claim his letter within 24 hours after it is received in prison. Then we have the expenses for special delivery of mail. So, inmates shall be allowed to send letters by registered a certified stamp or special delivery at their expense. No? So, ang kung magbadala sila o uh, so lot, of course, uh, they have their uh, ilahang own na expenses, ilahan na, na nga gasto sa inmate. Then sending money, uh, kini about na sa kanang kwarta, padalag kwarta. So inmate may receive or send money, no? Pwede sila makadawat, pwede sad sila nga magpadala o uh, cash, o oh, oh, kwarta. The inmate may receive and money through prison postal service. So, iagi na siya og uh, postal service under the supervision and assistant of designated prison officers. So, naagi po ay nag-supervise na mao ang uh, designated nga prison officers. So, next, uh, we have the male privilege of inmates under punishment. So, inmate under disciplinary punishment shall be allowed full male privileges. Unless his misconduct involves a serious violation or mal um, regulation, so kung ang yahang violation is serious or delete na nasa, pwede makainjoy aninga privilege. Then use of telephones. Kaniya, 
So usually makakita tani sa mga salida, no? Mga movie na ay in, nag-involve ang mga prisoners so, na ay mga privilege nga gihatag nila, no? like use of telephone. So all offenders who demonstrate good behavior shall earn a telephone call to an authorized individual uh, 90 days. No? In such case, the telephone call shall be monitored and shall be have a duration not exceeding five minutes when making the call. The inmate shall identify himself as an inmate. Uh, so, in using telephone, no, uh, dili ginamulapas, dapat dili mulapas sa five minutes ang ilahang pakag-istorya, no, sa, uh, in using uh, telephones. So, ang maka-enjoy po na nga privilege, those are uh, mga personal support or inmate nga good behavior so katong mga hidden criminals katong maximum security nga mga uh, habitual delinquents mga recidivists so dili sila pwede maka-enjoy ani nga uh, privilege no katong mga those who are committed of and convicted of heinous crimes so mo ani ang uh, next one is we have the foreign inmates. So how about some mga foreign inmates? No, those are non-Filipinos. Uh, inmates of foreign nationality shall be allowed representative to the communicate with their diplomats and consular representative of a state of which he or she is a national. So pwede gihapon uh, for those are foreign inmate. And next we have the exercise of religious beliefs. Privilege of inmates, inmates rather, uh, detainees to marry and rights to be visited by their family, relatives, and friends. So, are na puto sa ilang mga rights. And religious freedom. So, the religious beliefs and moral precepts of an inmate shall be respected. So, kung no matter man ang usaka inmate or usaka prisoners unsa may yahang religion, so will be respected no in the prison institution. So, pwede gihap po nila ma-exercise ang ilahang religious uh, beliefs. So, they have their freedom to exercise. So, pastoral visits. No, an accredited priest, minister, or pastor may be allowed to hold regular service and to pay pastoral visits in private to inmates of his religion as such hour as may be prescribed by the penal superintendent. So, sa mga prison institution, naana sila yung allowed ng mga priest or pastors nga mukandak og uh, religious uh, activity no especially sunday na na sila yung mga priest na na sila yung schedule nga moadto sa prison institution para magkandak og uh, holy mass and those are non catholics na sila yung send nga pastors para mukandak og service and to their uh, uh, religious activity so na na sila yung send dito sa uh, present institution. So, next one, we have the worship services. So, attendance. So, wait. And uh, let's move to the sponsor and religious rights. So, all prison official, employee, guard, and their husband or wives and children shall not act as a sponsor or otherwise actively participated in religious rites of activity involving an inmate or member of the immediate family of an inmate. So this is the sponsors in our religious rites. And we have the privileged communication. So all personal communication of an inmate to a prison chaplain or priest, either as a formal a religion or as a matter of conscience, conscience shall be treated as a privileged communication. So the chaplain or priest concerned shall not require to disclosure said communications. And we have the data requirements. Inmates observing religious feast or celebration may be given wrong rations or special diets in accordance with their mended daily per carpeta. So we have uh, next we have the uh, marriage of inmates and detainees. So, request to marry. So, an inmate or detainee who married shall submit a written request thereof with the superintendent. 
to the penal superintendent shall approve an inmate's request to marry except where legal restrictions to the marriage exist or where the proposed marriage present a threat to the security or good order of prison or to the protection of the public. So, those who are nga gusto makigminyo, no, do request, uh, masulat pa na sila dito sa superintendent for the approval nga gusto nila makigminyo uh, or request to marry. And of course, nga wala ka na siya nga request, wala siya dili maka-affect sa security on the protection of the public. And next, we have the eligible, eligibility to marry. So, the request of an inmate or detainee to marry shall be approved provided an in, the inmate or detainee is legally eligible to marry. So, do, ang, ang ma-approve and those are eligible rapod, no? Nga makigminyo and it's mentally competent and the intended spouse has verified, no? Klaro, clear, kinsan ang yahang uh, mapangasawa or mabana, no? In right... In writing, uh, in an in intention to marry the inmate or the tenny, marriage expenses, all expenses of marriage uh, license, marriage license shall be paid by the inmate. So, um, of course, um, the, the expenses are be paid by the inmate. And then, privacy of visits. No, arinat sa sa gusto nga mo visit sa mga prisoners or the tenny. So, prison guard shall supervise the visiting an obstructive manner. No? They shall not eavesdrop or conversation or otherwise interfere with the privacy of the inmates and his visitor. So, kung naimu visit sa prisoners or sa uh, inmate and our detainee, so, uh, unsa ilang conversation, dili na pwede nga interfere o interrupt no? ang conversation sa detainee or prisoner nga do sa yahang visitors. So, tanawin lang na siya, pero pwede siya i-interfere. Uh, next, we have the conjugal visits. Si a male inmate shall uh, uh, may enjoy conjugal visits visits as his spouse in prison uh, where there are facilities therefore, under such condition as may be prescribed by the director. So, kaning conjugal visits, uh, so, uh, of course, kanang mga lalaki na minyo no do na sila mga asawa nya of course nga gusto nila gusto nila nga mo bisita nya gusto nila nga makig uh, uh, what we call that nga gusto sila na ay masatisfy sa ilang kagalingon as a married couple so na na sila ay uh, gi provide sa sa director no sa superintendent nga rooms no for their uh, special uh, what we call um, as a married couple na sila buhato no no or uh, ado sila dito uh, mag honeymoon no as a couple so na mo na kita conjugal visits no na na provide nga room for the uh, uh, couple no as their uh, needs no physiological needs uh, the uh, para mas satisfy sila as a married couple so mo na conjugal visits no na gi prescribe and director na facilities when it comes to that need of uh, the prisoner or inmates or detainee so next we have the visit of legal counsel so an inmate may be visited by his legal counsel record at reasonable hour of the day or night so pwede ang mga legal counsel sa mga detainees inmates na uh, pwede na sila maka mabisita uh, and of course, we ha, uh, they have there the specific hours no, of the day or night. Then next, we have the pecuniary aid to inmates, discipline and punishment of inmates and inmate services. So the first, we have the pecuniary aid to an inmate killed or injured in the performance of duty. So the pecuniary aid shall be paid to an inmate who is killed, no? injured, disabled while preventing a prison riot or jailbreak or while in the performance of duties required of him in, in any prison industry and not due to his negligence. So, pwede sila mabayaran, mapaid. So, amount of pecuniary aid given, no? pilaman po. So, the pecuniary shall be 
fixed by the penal director and approved by the secretary when pecuniary is given. So the pecuniary shall be given to the injured or disabled inmate at the time of his release or any time during his confinement if he so desires. So at to na na siya ihatag once ma-release na siya, mulay, malaya na kung ang osaka inmate. Or during his, pwede gihapon during his confinement if he so desires kung gusto yun niya, niya makuha. And we, next, we have the discipline and punishment of inmates. No? Are nito sa disciplina o punishment. So, disciplinary controls and purpose. So, effort shall be made to instill in the minds of uh, all inmates the concept that self-discipline is an essential characteristic of a well-adjusted person. So, muna ang uh, disciplinary controls and purpose sa Osaka inmates. Then we have the guidelines on disciplinary control. So, discipline control of inmates shall be firm to, seek, to ensure safety and good order in prison. Of course, then breaches of discipline shall be handled objectively and sanctions shall be executed with firmness and justice. Of course, no, dapat nga firm patas o uh, na ay justisya ang pag-sanction, pag-disiplina nga sa mga uh, inmates. No? Then, we have the due process on according to inmates. So, iagi ka po na og due process. So, every breach of discipline shall be reported to proper prison authorities. The erring inmates shall be given due process before their punishment. Ignorance of prison rules shall not be con countenance or considered an excuse for its non-observance. So, dapat uh, before the punishment, uh, iagi ka po na siya og due process. So, dili na diretso diretso ang paghatag sa punishment sa usaka inmates. So, naagi ka po yung itawag og due process. So, next we have the punishment. So, board of discipline composition. So, the director shall establish the board of discipline in each prison to hear cases involving inmate who violates prison rules. It shall be presided by the assistant superintendent. So, ang uh, na ay board of discipline na uh, compost no headed by uh, the assistant superintendent mo na sila maminaw sa mga uh, kaso no, sa mga uh, violation rather sa mga inmates sa prison rules and regulations so na mag yung mga violators dili mag yung tanan magbinutan no kay because uh, then since the prisoners or the inmates are different uh, different behaviors no so, mabita na nga gisegregate, gisegregate na ang minimum, maximum security, uh, minimum, medium, and maximum security prisoners. So, na ay gi, uh, in charge, no? kinigatawag board of discipline, na uh, headed by the assistant superintendent, monil ang minaw sa ilang mga violations. Then, protection of inmates from institutional abuse. No? Na apoy protection dahi uh, mga inmates. So, an inmate shall be treated with respect and firmness by present employees, he shall be protected against the following. So, the, ang inmates ba di ay, uh, dili di po uh, ma-abuse, kaya na po yung itawag og protection para nila. Then, we have the, uh, first is we have the imposition of any cruel, unusual, or disgrading act as a form of disciplinary punishment. No, the imposition of cruel and unusual reading act ng mga uh, grabe na mga pagdisiplina no um, uh, harsh na nga disciplinary acts so or disciplinary punishment so mo na usang protektahan then we have the use of physical force or uh, by correctional officers except in case where the latter act is self defense to protect another person from imminent physical attack or to prevent from escape so Katong mo gamit o uh, grabe na nga physical force, no? O katong mga officers nga uh, grabe na ilahang pag uh, morgi abuse na ang mga personal. So, bawal na siya dapat uh, protektahan po ang inmate. Uh, gawas lang kung kana, ang kana nga inmate na kanda o nga physical attack or na escape, no? Nagip uh, bunalan baron sa officers, no? Para dili mga ka-escape. So, except, except, ana. So, those are, gitawag, uh, 
prevention or self defense sa officers then we have the corporal punishment no manila deprivation of clothing beds and bedding lights ventilation excessive food any uh, uh, katong mga prisoners nga uh, mga wala gyud nag kaingonta nga wala nag binuotan so no, dili sad pwede nga i deprive nato na sila sa ilaha mga benefits such as clothing uh, food dili pa kan no so that's uh, those are uh, protection dapat bisan og mao gina ang ilahang behavior so dapat pakanon gihapon na sila and forced labor no dili sad nga patrabaho og maayo ang mga inmate then next we have the impossible punishment no so the board of discipline shall be authorized to impose any of the following disciplinary measures or an errant inmate no caution of reprimand then cancellation of recreation education uh, entertainment and visiting privilege money mga punishment no kung ihatag kung usa ang usa ka inmate is uh, maka violate or commit o uh, makabiolate rather sa rules and regulations sa prison institution. So, cancellation of recreation, no? hindi na sila tagaag panahon nga makadua-dua or maka, uh, makakandak o mga activities. Education, entertainment, no? visiting privileges, hindi na sila pwede makakadawat o visitors. Then, depriva deprivation of the CTA for a specific period. No, dili na sila matagaan o uh, just A. And change of security status to the next higher category from medium to maximum security. Uh, Mauni ang mga itawag o um, uh, authorized, no? shall be authorized to impose any of the following disciplinary measures on Iran inmate. Then we have the inmate services. So as part of the prison rehabilitation and education, uh, education, the inmate shall be guaranteed access to health or religious and related rehabilitation services. Then health services, uh, health care and services shall be given to inmates similar to those available in the three community and subject to prison regulations. A person shall be, have at least one qualified medical doctor and dentist. So, na po mag-monitor sila when it comes to health. Na sa doctor po din sila makapacheck up. Then, medical consultation and visiting hours. And medical consultation and visiting hours shall be established by the superintendent and consultation with the medical staff of penal institution. Then, basic guidelines on medical consultation. So, na po yung guidelines na dapat nilang asundon uh, during their medical consultation sa mga inmates. First, no, uh, the following guidelines. Many mga guidelines shall be observed whenever an inmate visit a prison hospital clinic for consultation or treatment. So, mapakonsulta sila sa doctor nga do sa uh, or for consultation or treatment or magpag kuhan sila sa ilahang mga sakit, mga sila o uh, resita sa tambal no? then the inmate shall be in proper uniform during consultation dapat uh, naka uniform na siya no? then she shall be attended to a uh, uh, first come first services day then the number of inmates allowed to prison hospital clinic for consultation or treatment shall depend on the number of the available doctors so daily unlimited no? limited lang depende sa doctor kung pila ang sa Naka, pila ka doktor ang available na sa hospital clinic. Then an inmate shall be subjected to a body search upon entering and leaving the prison hospital or clinic. So, inigsod sa inmate uh, para magpa-check up, uh, magpa-consulta, dapat i- ikaw na siya, kanang i-search, no? Tanahon, and whole body, kung wala ba siya mga dala, wala ba niya mga contrabands, no? So, search before and after sa consultation. So, in emergency cases, only prison medical staff and patients shall be allowed inside the emergency room. An inmate shall not uh, loiter in the hospital clinic, leave the same without permission from the prison medical staff. So, delay sila pwede magsaba-saba dito uh, during their uh, consultation. And of course, uh, they shall leave uh, the same without 
uh, dili sila pwede maka uh, gawas no without the permission of the prison medical staff then next we have the children uh, below 12 years old shall not be allowed to stay inside ward in prison hospital or treatment room sa labat walay bata na then patients and the prison hospital shall not be required stand for uh, for checking then Visitors of inmates shall not be allowed to stay inside the hospital clinic to attend the sick inmate without the permission from the uh, medical uh, staff. Then next we have the pregnant uh, women inmates, no? And the uh, correctional institution for women. And the CAW there shall be specified accommodation for pregnant women. Uh, whenever practicable, however, arrangement shall be made for children to be born in hospital outside the prison. So, infant born in, to CIW inmates, an infant born, the mother is serving sentence in the CIW may be allowed to stay another for a period of not exceeding one year. After the lapse period of the mother or an infant fails to place the child a home of her own, the penal spurting arrangement to any authorized care institution or the disability for the infant's care. As far as practicable, the CIW shall be an, uh, have a nursery, the staff, by qualified personnel. So, kung ang usaka women inmates, sa mga anak na siya, no, tagaan na siya one year, na iyahang mangita siya, kinsay mo alaga sa iyahang anak. But failure to, uh, kung failure siya papangitaan na, so of course, ang superintendent, the penal superintendent na mo arrange ana kung asa niya nga institution, care institution, either uh, sa DSWD ba or dito sa ilahan na uh, nursery. So that's the policy of the uh, women inmates no kung mga anak. Then we have the recommendation for release of seriously ill inmates. So, seriously. So kanang gust kanang uh, those are inmates nga recommend na for release because of serious uh, in ill seriously ill inmates so the prison medical officer shall visit all sick inmates no ibisita na ang katong mga, mga sakiton na mga sa medical officer masakiton na mga inmates daily and attend to those who complain or any ailment he shall render reports to the superintendent whenever he he consider that an inmate mental or physical health has been or will be injured injuriously affected by continued imprisonment or by any condition of of confinement so notification of kin or dead inmates so whenever an inmate is critically ill or dies no itong grabe na nga nai sakit then or mamatay the prison medical officer shall report to the matter to the superintendent so of course uh, a report na dito sa superintendent who in turn shall Notify the inmate family by fastest means of communications available. So, may bawon ang mga ang members sa family o uh, ang, ang inmate uh, due to sa iyahang gibati, sa iyahang panglawas or namatay man at siya as soon as possible. Next, we have the release of inmates and escort procedure of inmates. So, Arin na punta sa escort procedure no? during the release of inmates. So, basis for release of an inmate, the an inmate may be released from prison upon the expiration of his sentence. So, kung nahuman na siya o serbisyo sa iyong sentensya sa prison institution, uh, the inmates may be uh, may release. And next, by order of the court or competent authority. After being granted parole or par pardon or amnesty, so katong mag-grant uh, o pardon, parole or amnesty, release na siya sa prison. So, kisa may authorized no, to release. Uh, Maunay, the following are the authorized to order and approve the release of an inmate. So, first, the Supreme Court in case of acquittal or grant of bail. So, ma-release na siya. And the President of the Philippines, so katong ma, 
uh, in case of executive clemency or amnesty by the president. So, ma pwede na siya ma-release ang usaka inmate. Then, the board of pardons and parole in parole cases. So, katong mag-grant of parole or pardon, uh, ma-release na siya. Uh, of course, the board of pardon and parole. The director upon the expiration of the sentence of the inmate. So, kung manasiyag serve siyang sentence, uh, the director uh, may approve for the release of uh, the inmate in prison from prison institution. So next, uh, we have the approval by the director of release. No, but as approval. Uh, an inmate shall be released by the superintendent with the approval of the prison director. Of course, dili yun na pwede siya i-release kung wala approval sa director. Then verification of identity. No, of an inmate shall to be released. Na. Before an, an inmate can be released, he shall be properly identified his fingerprints and another identification. Marks shall be verified with those which were taken when he was admitted in prisons and any charge in his dis, uh, distinguishing marks since his admission. So, gikan sa pagdawat, ang iyong identity tanawan kung mawaban na siya, niya tao, no? niya identify kung mawaban siya from the admission and to the release. Tanawan dito ang iyong records, of course, uh, including uh, their, uh, his or her, uh, her fingerprints, no? kung mawaban na siya nga inmate ang uh, i-release sa uh, prison uh, institution. So, next we have the documentary basis for release. No? An inmate shall not release on the basis of authority relayed through telegram telephone. Inmate to be released on the basis of acquittal, dismissal of the case, the filing of bond or the payment of indemnity shall only be released upon receipt by the penal superintendent of a written order bearing the sale, sale of the court, duly assigned by the clerk of court or the judge thereof. So, prompt release of inmates. An inmate shall be released without delay, however, releasing an inmate who is suffering from the communica communicable diseases or mental derangement and who cannot defray expenses of his treatment. The penal superintendent shall take the necessary steps to arrange for the follow-up treatment of the inmate in an appropriate government institution. So next, we have the far uh, release of foreign nationals. So the penal director shall notify the commissioner of immigration the release of an inmate who is a foreign national. Katunan yung mga Pilipinas, those are foreign uh, inmates. At least 30 days before the approximate date of release, the director shall furnish the Commissioner of Immigration with certified copies of court decision in the case of the alien inmate, a synopsis of his record and the expected date of his release. So next, we have the release of inmates with pending case. So those are uh, kanang na i-release na na apay, pending case, no? So, if the inmate to be released has a pending criminal case, the director shall inform the court where the case is pending of the inmate discharged from prison at least 30 days before. No, at least 30 days before the actual date of release. So, before a release ng inmate 30 days before, ana magpahibaw na ang director to the court. May release na siya kaya siya pending ang kaso. So, in the proper case, now the director shall turn over to the proper court where the inmate has pending criminal case for disposition. So, prohibited release of inmate before the after, after election. The director shall not order or allow an inmate to leave prison 60 days before and 30 days after the election, except for the valid or legal reasons, no, 30 days before a schedule of date of release be transferred. Then separation and placement of center. An inmate shall uh, 30 days before his schedule of date release be transferred to the separation and placement center to prepare him for re-entry into the pre-society. No? Then provided he is not under punishment or uh, an escape race and is cleared of his government property accountability. Dapat cleared siya. Wala siya mga a monetary responsibility. 
Then pre-release seminar. So all inmates eligible for release shall undergo one day seminar preparation for his life outside prison. So the day panasila he release, ang katong inmates dapat he undergo pa panasila og seminar, no? One day seminar preparation nga laya na sila, no? Wala na sila sa prison institution. Then assistance to an inmate to be released. So upon release of the inmate, he shall be supplied by the bureau with the transportation to home, including gratuity to cover the probable cost of subsistence, in road, and if necessary, a suit of clothes. So na po yung mga ihatag ngadto sa inmate during the release. No, example ang no ang transportation nila sa pagkule. So provided na na sa their prison institution. Then transmittal of carpet and prison record. So in executive clemency and parole cases, the director shall forward the carpet and prison record of an inmate to the board within the following periods. So when shall for commutation of sentence at least one month before the expiration of the third one third of the minimum period of the inmates and determinate sentence and uh, on special cases at least once a month before the period specified by the board. Then for conditional pardon, uh, at least one month uh, before the expiration of one half of the uh, minimum period of the inmates in their uh, indeterminate sentence and on special cases, at least once a month before the periods as the board may be specified. So for parole, at least one month before expiry date of his minimum sentence. So next we have the escort procedure. So the primary duties of escort guard shall exercise extreme caution at all times and shall see to it that the inmate does not no, escape. No, dapat magigina ng usang abantayan sa escort guard, escort guards. Then converse with an unauthorized person. No, di pwede ang usang inmate and di pwede magistorya into unauthorized person. They obtain forbidden articles, especially intoxicants weapon. No, they said, "Poy de bantayan yun na." Then annoy passerby, sweater harm or humiliation. So we next we have the distance of guards from inmates. No, and during the escorting, no, a group of inmates, the guards shall keep distance of not less than ten ten paces. From their charge, upon arrival at the destination, they shall station themselves an advantage point where all the inmates were are within sight and can properly control. So, makita and properly control. It's a procedure for court appearance. So, kanan pong adto sa bar, mo adto sa korte for hearing, no? No, in escorting duties for court hearing, the person's parents shall provide the list. So, duha. Duha gina ang kuno na ikuyog sa inmate uh, when uh, kumadto sila sa court for hearing. Now, however, when two or more inmates are be escorted, the number of guards may be reduced proportionately without sacrifice security requirements. If an inmate is notorious or has a, a previous record of escape, additional escort guards shall be signed. So katong mga na record nga escape na siya, so or katong mga notorious inmate dapat mas more pagyod ang escort ana niya guards then next we have the turnover of inmates to local jail so assign to an inmate for court hearing who cannot return to the prisons or of origin on the same day shall request to the court to issue an order turn, turning over the inmate to the nearest provincial or city or municipal jail or police detention cell this court Guard shall not stay in the private dwelling hotel with the inmate. So, kung daan ay mahitabong nga hearing, tapos dili siya makabalik dayon sa ilahang institution. So, mo request sila sa court na issuing na unsay mga pinakaduol nga city or jail or provincial jail or detention cell add to dito. No, sila together with the escort. So, dili pwede kung add to sa private place or mga hotel with the inmate. 
So next we have the appearance in Metro Manila Court. So in conducting the new beloved prison or correctional institution for women inmates for appearance in Metro Manila, the escort details uh, shall be headed by the supervising guard or by the senior officer. In the court concerned in the suburbs of Metro Manila, such as Cavite, Bulacan, and Batangas, the escort shall return their wards to the NBP or CIW immediately after the court hearing. So after the hearing, no, within Metro Manila, uh, dapat balik na sila dayo sa New Bilbid Prison or sa Correctional Institution for Women. Kaya doon raman, within Metro Manila raman. So no need na request uh, to the nearest uh, Call, uh, to the nearest institution. No acknowledgement of turnover of inmates. No upon turning the inmate over to the nearest officer at the, at the destination, the escort in charge shall secure an acknowledgement receipt for the custody of the inmate. And the receipt must clearly bear the name of the receiving officer, his designation, and the date of the time an inmate was uh, received. So next we have the postponement receiving of hearing. So after the hearing of, his, of the scheduled hearing is postponed or set to another date, so kung appear sa court ang uh, inmate, no, and tapos na postpone, no, the inmate shall be returned to the prison of origin without delay. So dapat balik, ya return ginadayo dito sa uh, sana siya detain, no, ng inmate without delay. If possible, the prison in charge shall secure from the court an order committing the inmate to the provincial or city jail or detention center so procedure if the escort guard becomes sick no kung ang escort na sakit man ang escort sa inmate so if the escort guard becomes sick they shall notify the person superintendent of origin thereof by the fastest means available so that the replacement can be sent uh, to continue the mission so dapat kung sakit ang escort guard ng pribaw lang siya to the superintendent na magpapuli no para ma continue ang mission then Next, we have the fake or spurious subpoena. So, if the subpoena received, the person turns out to be spurious, or if in spite of a valid subpoena, the scheduled trial is not held, the inmate shall be immediately returned to the prison of origin. No? Ibalik da uh, The escort in charge shall submit written report to the prison superintendent on that matter. So, kung fake siyang subpoena or spurious, uh, dapat immediately ang, ang usaka inmate i-return balik into the prison of origin so that's it guys my dear friends and my dear students so i hope that uh, you learn uh, so many things in this uh, video so this uh, video is the continuation no, of our topic about the correctional institutional inst correction so I hope that uh, it helps you. So according to Steve Jobs, you know, learn continually. There's always one more thing to learn. So just continue learning and continue your studies. And I know that someday uh, you'll become uh, successful. So just stay on tracks and do your tasks and keep the five warning in your heart in reaching your goals thank you so much thank you for watching this video and for those who are not uh, uh, subscribed please like this channel and subscribe and thank you so much for your support and for those who are uh, who subscribe this channel god bless you all and bye bye